Animal known as herpestidae, another very well known member of herpestidae is the mongoose. So the meerkats are very closely related to the mongoose, and just like the mongoose, they are carnivores. They are meat eaters, but their main diet well consists of bugs, beetles, centipedes, lizards, just about anything that crawls across the ground. Also, if they come across the ground like a jackal or a hyena, if the lookout sees anything that alarms him, that could be a danger to the rest of the colony, he'll very quickly sound the alarm, and all the meerkats will dive into one of the many holes that you see here on the gully floor. And these holes were all dug by the meerkats and their openings to a network of tunnels underneath. See a lot of holes dug, meerkats dig a lot of holes. Some of the more shallow holes are just where the meerkats are redeemed for insects. They feed off the insects that live underground. But meerkats, they also live underground. They find protection underground. They don't know instinctively. If there's a hawk or an eagle diving down in them, they're not going to have a whole lot of time to run across the savanna. So they dig a lot of holes so they're never very far from one of them. But the slender tail meerkats. And if you look uh, in the short grassy area, a little further into the savanna, the short grassy area behind the turbine mound, you see a larger brown animal enjoying that nice cool grass. That's called a garanook. Garanook will get anywhere from 70 to about 120 pounds or so, both male and female do. And they're a type of antelope that lives on the African savanna. See, there he is moving around into the center of the viewing area. It's called a garanook, and it is an antelope that lives on the African And while feeding, the garanook have the ability, if they want, to stand straight up and down on their hind legs. It is kind of unusual to see a hooked animal standing straight up and down. Some will stand on their hind legs, but they're not straight up and down like the garanook can. And the garanook can, they can do this just because they have what's known as a rotating hip. Their hip rotates in a socket, much like ours. That allows them to stand straight up and down so they can reach the higher branches and the higher leaves. I'm the Garnet Gannon, you see, right? In the center of the view. We've got to give other people a chance to see. Come on. Come on. Come on. John, we're ready for those just coming in. My name is Ron. I'm a research student here on the Exploration Trail. And this is the Gorilla, or two, this is the Savannah Overlook area. From this vantage point, we're able to observe and study some of the animals that make their home here on the African Savannah. We look down the gully in front of us, and then right on the rock in front of us also, we can see one or more members of a meerkat colony to call it. So meerkats, they live in colonies that range anywhere from 3 to 30 animals at a time. They're not really related to the cat family. You know, meerkats are not feline. They belong to a family of animals known as herpestidae. Another very well-known member of herpestidae is the mongoose. So the meerkats are very closely related to the mongoose. And just like the mongoose, well, they are carnivores. They are meat eaters. But their main diet well, consists of bugs, beetles, centipedes, lizards, just about anything that crawls across the ground. But meerkats have their own eat snakes, scorpions, and even rabbits at times. They're very social animals. They all watch out for each other very well. Anytime the meerkats are on the gully floor, one of them will be acting as a lookout for the rest of the colony. You can see the lookout now. He's sitting on top of that high rock and he'll watch the sky. He's running flying predators, predators such as hawks or eagles. See him looking up there. He'll watch for any hawks or eagles. He'll watch the ground also for any coming across the ground like a jackal or a hyena. And if the lookout sees anything that alarms him that could be a danger to the rest of the colony, he'll very quickly sound the alarm and all the meerkats will dive into one of the many holes that you see here on the gully floor. And these holes were dug by the meerkats and they're opening to a network of tunnels underneath. Some of the more shallow holes are just where the meerkats are. Imagine that in the hole. Yeah, obnoxious for sure. But in the wild, that is where it's beneficial. See, the large members of their flock are predators. And they watch out for lots of predators. Things like hawks and owls and eagles and snakes <laughs> and lions and tigers and bears. Oh my, is <laughs> Alright, well you guys know, right? It's because of all those predators. That's why there's so many species going extinct in the wild. Um, no? Oh, go. Oh, go. Listen, maybe you didn't quite hear me. I just said it's because of all the predators. That's why there's so many species going extinct in the wild. <laughs> If it's not the predators, then what is it? <laughs> Are you serious, Kogo? You gotta be kidding me. You think it's me? You don't think it's me. Are you talking about humans? Yeah, you are. That makes more sense, right? It's probably some of those problems that humans have caused. Uh, let's see, things like pollution, habitat loss, 
we've got a lot of trees that are hot. Pollution, habitat loss, misuse of chemicals, these are all the people that we don't know. Then the bald eagle has been completely taken off the endangered species list. 